We're in Renton, Washington after the 2022 Division Field Hockey Championship where East Stroudsburg beat Shippensburg by a score of 1-0. to zero. Shippensburg coach Tar Tara Zollinger joins us with student athlete Maya Kemp. Coach, give us your thoughts on the game. Um, well, I, I definitely want to congratulate East Stroudsburg University on a tremendous season and an amazing game. It was a absolute battle and what you want for a national championship game and I congratulate them on this season and their championship and I also want to thank everybody with the NCAA, our host institution and the um, NCAA Division II Field Hockey Committee and everyone involved in the festival. It's an unbelievable experience and one you can't describe unless you're here and I'm so uh, grateful for all their hard work and so happy that our student athletes were able to experience this festival year. And um, to the student athletes and to the Shippensburg family and the Shippensburg community, including um, our athletic department, uh, you know, we're extremely proud of everything they accomplished this year. They set goals and achieved their goals. And yes, they came up short today, but they had an amazing season full of ups and downs. And most importantly, they grew their belief in themselves and each other. And that's something that, um, as a staff, we hope they take that with them for years to come is that self-belief because that was the I think the biggest thing we grew this year and the most important thing we're taking away from this season. Amaya, that's one of the things I kind of wanted to ask you about. It's not necessarily what you may not have accomplished today. It's about what you've accomplished since August as a team, as a group. If you could speak to some of the outstanding things that you have accomplished as a yeah. team Yeah, um, going off what Coach just said, we set goals in spring that we thought were way beyond us. We had lots of doubts and the odds were against us. We lost 13 seniors and we come back and we're in the same position we were last year. Yeah, we came up short today, but I think the confidence, the belief, and the strength within our team and the team connection grew tremendously. Coach Zonlinger, you would say, I mean, it's similar in terms of the growth that you've seen out of this team from the beginning of the journey to today and the end of the journey today. Sure, yeah. I think. Maya really hit the nail on the head there, the confidence, the self-belief. Uh, it, it's really awesome to see a group of young women come together and support each other through that process. And that process isn't always very easy and people can um, tell you all the things in the world but you have to believe from inside and having a supportive group of women around them, our student athletes were really able to grow and develop in those ways. And um, it's all about them having the, a positive experience where they get to grow those uh, off-field uh, personal characteristics and it wouldn't be possible without the support of each other, the support of the staff and the support of the um, administration, the president, everyone involved to make the program what it is. And so we know leaving this season, we're not leaving with necessarily the trophy that we wanted, of course, but we are, learn we are leaving with a lot of lessons and a lot of memories and hopefully relationships that will last far beyond their four years here. I'll ask one question about the game. I'll ask Maya and then Coach if you could follow up. Um, part of what makes field hockey such a unique sport is that you never necessarily know what's going to happen sometimes from game to game. Um, obviously, the semifinal is a drastically different game from th today's game. And when you have two outstanding teams playing against each other, it's nervy to begin with because you're playing in the national championship game. But then when you know this type of game that was going to play out today, Every little touch matters, every little move matters, I feel like. So I imagine that's present in your minds all game long, it seems like. Yeah, it's just about knowing that we've been in this position before. Act like you've been in this position before. Um, they scored a late goal, but we've practiced so many times, 20 seconds left on the clock, can we get it down? So I think we set into that, and we were down there with 25, and they atta are attacking 25, so it showed that we were still all out and we were going for it. We had nothing to lose in that moment, and that's how we played the game. We had nothing to lose. We were going all out, and that's really what stuck with us all season. And I will say I think our team played 100% even more than that. And I think our team did go all out today. Just one little goal at the end. It's, all it takes is one goal to beat a team. Similar, yeah? Yeah, very similar. And, you know, I think that it's a game of inches and it's crazy how fast that ball can move down the field and I and I am really proud of the efforts at the end like they never they never gave up and they they kept believing and, and getting the ball down there and being able to give ourselves that opportunity at the end with only 35 seconds left on the clock is definitely a silver lining. My very last one though is there's a lot of adjectives and things that come to mind though but resiliency is one of the biggest things with this group and if you could just speak a little bit to 
no, with today, tomorrow, and every day down the road in the future, you're always going to say that you're a resilient group of Raiders. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, I think this season we were playing for something a little bit more. Um, we had 22 girls um, for 22 in the year 22. So I think we played the season bigger than ourselves. <laughs> Thanks, ladies, so much. Thank you. Thank you.